Welcome to AI TV. We're broadcasting live from AI Expo Africa 2019, Africa's largest AI trade show. And it's, it's a great honor to welcome Alicia Van Nieke from uh, MTN, your project manager there. Alicia, welcome to Thank the you. show. Thank you very much. It's very nice to be here at the Expo today and on AI TV. It's a very nice opportunity. Thanks for having me. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, I, uh, I guess we got to know each other because of some work that you did earlier in the year where you, I think you won a, it was a hackathon at uh, Microsoft? It was an AI hackathon, an AI for Health hackathon. Okay. Yes, hosted by Microsoft. And yes, Safiso and I, my partner, we were uh, winners at the AI hackathon. Now, we'll come back to that in a minute. But uh, one of the things I wanted to just sort of say was to, uh, obviously one of the new initiatives we put in the show this year was to showcase innovation that's coming straight out of universities which is applicable to industry yeah. and that we manifested that as, as what we call the innovation wall and we're really grateful to to you and to MTN for sponsoring that and obviously that's that's a fantastic initiative and we just want to thank you for your support so great thank you very much his MTN group went ahead and sponsored the MTN innovation wall and showcasing young students in universities in uh, all around South Africa, just showcasing the IoT, AI, machine learning related projects that they're working on. Um, and yeah, it's a great, uh, great honor to, to be able to do yeah, that. Yeah, thanks very much. I mean, also a couple from Namibia as well we had in, the, in there as well, which is fantastic. Now, one of the things that struck me when we first spoke was that you, you're an interesting person in the sense that <laughs> you've transitioned into this whole world of AI without really having a kind of background in coding or any, anything like that. Maybe, maybe uh, you could explain to people on AI TV how you made that journey, because that's, that's really interesting. Yeah, sure, Nick. So as a, a proud person, a, a proud woman in technology, I decided to embrace the AI industry and the fourth industrial revolution that we are heading into. And uh, I've decided to throw myself into the deep end. Having no experience in the AI space and uh, a keen interest in data science, um, I decided to join the the AI hackathon at Microsoft to try and see if I can learn something. And um, Microsoft made it very easy for me and in a space of uh, 24 hours, I was able to create a chatbot that um, helps reduce unwanted pregnancies uh, wow. in South Africa. Uh, the chatbot is called Altaz, let's talk about sex. And um, yeah, it's a chatbot for our youth uh, where they can ask those difficult questions about sex. Now that's quite interesting. I never think I heard the word sex at AI Expo, so that's great. That's another <laughs> first for us, right? But I mean, seriously, that that is a end use for technology. Uh, you know, a very personal problem uh, being solved through a chatbot, for example. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that. So, 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 tell us how someone with no experience in developing that ended up winning a hackathon for developing that solution because that, that's an amazing story, right? Yeah, um, I had lots of mentors that supported me. Uh, we, we basically worked through the night. I had Sofiso, who is a 14-year-old uh, developer. He wow. joined my team and we worked together through the night with some of the Microsoft uh, mentors and uh, looked at some of their educational videos that's available online, um, so on the Azure platforms, and we created a chatbot. And wow. we were able to integrate that chatbot uh, with our website as well as on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, obviously Microsoft have been a partner of the show for, for, for last year and this year as well. And it, I mean, it's great that they're running these kinds of initiatives. Now, you've gone on to now create a new community, right? Because, yeah. I mean, just as we've created AI Expo Africa, you've created a, a, a new community as well. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so as a nominee for the Women of Stature and uh, Women in Technology Awards, um, you know, we uh, have created a community called Coding Mamas, which is a community mm. that teaches moms to code. So uh, while doing that, we also teach kids, uh, robotics, um, anyone, anything in the coding space. So while mom's busy learning about coding, the kids are busy learning about um, coding as well. And it's just a community to empower women, to empower moms, um, to show them that, uh, to learn a new skill and show them that this is something easy, this is yeah. something that you can do. Um, and also then at the same time inspiring their kids. You know, if mom can do it and mom can teach me, then I can do it too. Okay, now one of the themes for this show is uh, AI for social good. So I think you're definitely talking about two social good applications there. You're, the, the app for uh, helping uh, uh, avoid unwanted pregnancies, not just in South Africa, that, that could be used anywhere in the world, right? Anywhere in the world. And yes. the Coding Mamas, uh, that's another social good um, initiative. Now, I think 
one of the key themes, I mean, we've got uh, Fred Werner here, who's the AI Global Summit, AI oh, yes. for Good Global Summit. We, we met, I met we, him. we all met last night. Guy. And I think you're a, you're a great example, really, of just what someone with no relevant domain experience can do in a very short space of time, not only to create something meaningful, but not just an app, but also a community. And uh, how, how can how can people join Coding Mamas? Is there a website or? Yeah, actually? you can find us on Twitter, uh, okay. Coding Mamas, the hashtag Coding Mamas. So we're also on Facebook, and we also have a website, www.codingmamas. That's your zero. Brilliant. And I mean, how many how many members have you got at the moment? So right now we have about 800 followers wow. and 300 registered moms. Okay. Um, and we're running workshops in Johannesburg and we'd like to extend those workshops across Africa, um, hopefully by the end of next year. Yeah, well, I mean, there's certainly a few initiatives that have uh, visited the show here where maybe you could collaborate. I know the guys in Flipton are doing a, a grassroots uh, program in disadvantaged communities. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe com combine forces and leverage the same communities to it to promote your own, own well, event. Well, this expo definitely um, expanded my horizons. Uh, I've definitely met some really interesting people at the expo. Um, and there's a lot of collaboration opportunities and uh, an expo like this has really helped me to build those relationships and I'm looking forward to collaborating with those. Fantastic, and just to wrap up, I mean, obviously this was your first visit to the show. <laughs> I mean, and yes. you, it was a leap of faith. I know we did this the very last minute, right? Mm -hmm. um, what, 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 what have been the main takeaways from, from what you've seen so far? Well, I have met some really interesting robots at this show. Um, Neo is a, is a little robot that told me that um, he thinks, or it thinks, that I am 20 years old. So oh, wow. I really, really like Neo. <laughs> Um, and I've also met a little robot that plays soccer and I just cannot wait to show my four-year-old son this picture of me playing soccer with this little robot. It's, uh, it's been an, a, a very interesting experience, I must say. Yeah, very I mean, the, the, the Roban stand where, where you saw that, um, I mean, they, they're helping launch the African version of the Robo World Cup. <laughs> so hopefully wonderful. we're going to be inspiring young engineers, young students, uh, or even people that are not, no experience in it to, to get involved in that challenge, to get another challenge, yeah. uh, to program uh, bots to play football. And maybe we'll have a robo version of Bafana Bafana, maybe. Uh, oh, that'll that be would be, that would that'd be, be interesting. Great. So, uh, Alicia, many thanks for coming. Thanks, uh, I know you've got to catch a flight back to Joburg, but thank you very much for joining us thanks, on AR TV, and we'll hopefully see you me. next year. Great, thanks it's great a lot. being here. Thanks for the opportunity.